More and more of us are writing our iOS code in Swift these days. If you're also working with the Google Maps platform Places API or SDK, you'll be very pleased to hear about some changes we're making to help you use the best features of Swift. Today, I'm going to talk about the preview release of the Places Swift SDK for iOS that exposes the full language features of Swift, allowing you to write more robust code when you work with the Google Maps platform Places API. While the existing Places SDKs for iOS do have basic Swift support, the underlying implementation is in Objective-C, which limits their ability to support the most compelling features of the Swift language. Rewriting the SDK in Swift now gives you access to more great language features, such as type safety, Swift concurrency, and other idiomatic handling of types to enable you to write expressive, safe, and fast Swift code for your Places API implementations. The Places Swift SDK for iOS is available now in Preview, which is a pre-GA product release stage. The Swift SDK offers all the same capabilities that users are familiar with from the Places SDK for iOS, with many added benefits gained from being implemented directly in Swift. The Swift SDK makes use of some key Swift features, including extensive use of value types, default parameter values, and optionals, support for Swift concurrency, and improved type safety. Currently, the preview of the Places Swift SDK for iOS is available exclusively for the new Places API capabilities, which are the ones you can see listed here. So, now you have three options for bringing the Places API into your iOS app. Let's take a quick look at how they compare. Places SDK for iOS has been around the longest. It offers basic Swift support and a minimal set of APIs. To use it, you need to enable Places API in the Google console. Places SDK for iOS new also offers basic Swift support and adds nearby search and text search from the new Places APIs. To enable it, look for Places API New in the Google Console. Places Swift SDK takes the capabilities of Places SDK for iOS New and adds full Swift support. As with all Places SDKs, there is support for integration using CocoaPods and Swift Package Manager. To use the SDK, you need to enable Places API New in the Google Console on a project that has billing set up. To install the preview Swift SDK with Swift Package Manager, follow the installation instructions for Places SDK for iOS. You need to select version 9.2.0 or later, so check your version number carefully and make sure you choose the Google Places Swift package. The GitHub repo is the same for all the iOS Places SDKs github.com slash Google Maps slash iOS Places SDK. If you use CocoaPods, add the Google Places Swift dependency to your pod file as shown here. You can also install the SDK manually. For full instructions, see the developer documentation. The new Swift SDK has different class names and syntax for initialization. To initialize the Swift SDK, you will need to change your code to use Places Client instead of GMS Places Client. Let's see how a typical autocomplete implementation might look with the Places Swift SDK for iOS. You could begin by updating the autocomplete request flow. The old code shown here uses a callback to request autocomplete suggestions. Callbacks can add complexity to code structure and error handling. The new code employs a switch await pattern instead. The request and response handling has been simplified with the Swift language support for concurrency using an asynchronous task through places client dot fetch autocomplete suggestions. Don't worry too much about these details now. There is a full migration guide in the developer documentation to help you. In fact, all the details you need can be found in the developer documentation. You can find the link in the description. OK, so there's nothing stopping you getting started with the Places Swift SDK for iOS, so you can begin using more great Swift language features in your Places API integrations. Check out the Swift SDK sample app in the GitHub repo here. 
If you have an existing Places SDK for iOS implementation, have a look at the migration guide. Otherwise, head over to the reference documentation to find out more. And don't forget to check the release notes to stay updated on key updates and changes. All the links I've shown here are included in the description below. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you build.